In this video, I will make the simple 2D practice drawing with the help of simple draw and modify command. And as you can see that we have an additional hatch also in this drawing. So let's start with the line tool. So go to the draw panel and select this line command. Click at any point in the drawing area and make a line with length of 98 units and press enter. Now move your cursor downwards and enter a length of 13 units and press enter. Now move it towards left then enter a distance of 27 and press enter. Now move it downwards and enter a distance of 25 units, press enter. Now move it towards right, enter a distance of 36 units, press enter. Move it down again and this time enter a distance of 62 units and press enter. Now move it towards left again and enter a distance of 27 units, press enter. Now move it downwards and enter a distance of 13 units and press enter. Now move it towards left again and enter a distance of 62 units. So as you can see that we are only making this complete geometry with the help of basic draw tools and you can use line or polyline as well if you want for making this geometry. So let's move ahead and enter the next distance of 75 units, press enter, move it towards right and enter a distance of 9 units press enter, move it upwards and enter a distance of 25 units, press enter and now track this endpoint, click at this point and then join it with the starting point and here we have the completely closed geometry as required. Now we can add the circles on this side. For that I'll go to the circle tool and click at the center of this line and click on this endpoint. Now go to the circle tool again, click on the same center point and this time enter a radius of 25 units and press enter. Press enter again to repeat the circle tool and click on the same center point and this time enter a diameter of 25 units. So type D, press enter and enter 25 as the diameter and press enter again. So now we can create all the parts which are present inside this closed figure. For that I'll select the rectangle tool. So click on rectangle and now click anywhere in the drawing area but not inside this drawing somewhere outside and type at on the command line for rectangle and enter a length of 25 units and enter a height of 50 units so type 50 and press enter and here we have the final rectangle now select this rectangle and click on this move tool click on this middle point and click on this midpoint so now we can add the chamfers at these two endpoints. For that, I'll select the line tool, click at this endpoint, and now type add on command line, and then enter the distance of chamfer, which is 3, and then angle of minus 45 degrees, and press enter. And here we have the chamfer. Now press enter again to exit this, and select this small chamfer distance, and go to the mirror tool, click on this midpoint and click on any point on this line and press enter again. Here we have the chamfering now. Now let's once again go to this area and make another rectangle. So I'll click anywhere in the drawing area to start the second rectangle. Now type add on the command line and this time enter a distance of 42 as length and then a height of 19 units as the width and press enter. And here we have the rectangle. Now select it, select the move tool, click on this midpoint and move it on this midpoint. We need to make a third rectangle here and for that I'll select the rectangle tool, click in the drawing area at any point. Now type add on the command line and enter a distance of 50 units along length and then a distance of 42 units along width and press enter again. Now select this rectangle, select the move tool click on this midpoint and move it on this midpoint and here we have it the drawing is almost complete now we only need to make some modifications and you can see here that we have this line passing through this horizontal line which we don't want so we can trim this extra portion so select the trim tool press enter click on this endpoint and now click on this extra line as well now press enter again to exit this command and we can now apply fillet on all of these four corners so for that go to the fillet tool and select the radius and enter a radius of 3 units and press enter. Now select this polyline tool and click on any of these lines. So this will apply fillet in all of these 4 corners. Now go to the trim tool again, 
press enter and click on this portion of the circle to remove it we don't need it now and we can also remove this line it's also not required now go to the line tool again and zoom into this area click on this endpoint and join it with the circle like this now zoom out and select the line tool and click on this endpoint and once again join it with this quadrant so if you are not able to see the quadrant and this intersection point then click on this object snap arrow and make sure that this quadrant and intersection option is activated so this check mark should remain visible in front of these two options in order to make them active and here we have the final drawing so we only need to add the hatch for adding the hatch pattern go to the draw panel and select this hatch tool and now click inside this area and also inside this area so right now you'll see that the hatch pattern is not the one which we want so we want the nc31 hatch pattern so select it here we have the hatch you may need to change the scale of this hatch depending upon the current scale of your drawing in my case the scale is completely perfect so i don't need to change it but if in your case the hatches are very close or very far from each other then you can change the scale from this scale option else leave it at one and close this hatch creation tab and here we have the final drawing